much. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I was supposed to be standing here with my friend and colleague, Alon Rosen, uh, dean of the business school, who has unfortunately been taken ill. So I'm afraid you're stuck with me. So it'll be less interactive and slightly less interesting, or maybe just as interesting, but not as interactive. Although I'm not the first to say this, we are com really convinced that the model of executive education as we know it today is broken. And needless to say, in today's world, in today's pace of change, a broken model is ripe for disruption. So we set ourselves a modest task of saying, OK, what can we do about it? Can we actually change it? And in fact, over the past year, we uh, worked with a UX agency, a user experience agency, to try and understand what works and what doesn't work in executive education. And actually, more importantly, what could work? There might be something new out there. In fact, maybe what we can start with is to ask you the same question we asked a wide panel of executives. When was the last time you had a meaningful ex learning experience, and here's the kicker, that actually changed the way you do things? Well, your answer, or lack thereof, is pretty close to what we saw in our study. Sadly, very few. At best, the executive education was considered a breath of fresh air. At worst, boring. And there were some worse traits as well, but we won't get into that. But none, practically, were transformative. Transformative, that was a key word. It came back again and again. Um, it turns out what people really want is to change the way they do things, transform themselves, not just learn new skills. This is a bit of a paradigm shift for a business school. Needless to say, we've been teaching skills for a long time. We're pretty good at that. Well, there's something new out there. And we believe that there's a, this is the direct corollary of, you know the stat, I'm sure you've heard of it, 65% of executives today feel disengaged or worse, unsupported by their organization. 65%. That is a mind-blowing number. I can't believe you know, that number can be out there and nothing really be done about it. Well, I think clearly we're on a burning platform. There's no doubt about that. And our job to be done, if we're going to quote Christensen, well, is very clear. So we set ourselves this task. How can we design an executive education program that ensures more effective personal development, more engagement, and a more transformative overall experience. If transformation and transformational was what we got from the UX, when we started talking about the UI, the user interface, so the way we actually do things, I'm from digital in case you didn't notice, the key word that came out was unconventional. But everybody does unconventional. We needed to do more than just flavor with unconventional. Uh, and You've heard, you've heard of the fads. So how do we go beyond the fads? How do we do something different? And uh, well, our research showed us that we needed to touch our participants on three levels. It fits quite nicely with a lot of the things we've heard this morning. The mind, easy. We've all been doing that. Emotions, a little bit more complicated. And the body. And it is only through that that you actually achieve transformation. And it is only those programs, be they long, short, what have you, that actually allow you to achieve transformation. So we set out to try and build that into our programs. And we, crea we created a, an approach that is called Shared Engagement and Experience Design, SEX for short. Needless to say, I'm also from marketing, SEX always seemed to sell, so we thought we'd throw it in there. What does that mean? Three points. First of all, question. Second, co-create. And third, engage. So the art of questioning, that is really the key of the way we function. Uh, every project we do starts with a really deep dive into, OK, what are the big questions? And this may sound boring or conventional and obvious, but the reality is that we're a business school that sits within an engineering school. So we actually are able to ask some really interesting, deep questions that go beyond the traditional business questions.
questions. We can also ask the technical questions. And that is really interesting. We often come up with very new, unusual questions. Next, we go to the co-creation part. Everybody talks about co-creation. I'm not going to get into the details because time is relatively short. But we really we do not have a catalog of programs. Just to, to illustrate to what point we take co-creation. Come, come visit us at our table. You'll see I have one brochure of an MBA, of an executive MBA, because, well, that's already written. You know, it's a, it's, everybody knows what goes in an MBA, so nothing new there. That's it. Every other program is completely co-designed. So <clears throat> we have a lot of fun developing this. We develop a lot of interesting programs for governments, uh, for large multinationals. Maybe one example, because examples are, are interesting, is large-scale energy projects are the bête noire, to use a French expression, of just about everybody out there now. Because they lose money, you don't know how to set them up, and then you don't know how to run them. Well, with our partners, we've set up a specialized training program in order to uh, give the skills in all of these levels, in all of these areas, to both governments and the operators, how to manage that in an uncertain environment. I wouldn't even say it's uncertain, it's unpredictable. Who can tell, predict the future of the energy sector whether it be conventional or unconventional today. Not possible. And yet you're, everybody's asking all of these actors to invest billions in this. So there's an interesting paradox there. Finally, we get to the engagement part. Well, uh, how, do you build an, how do you build an effective individual engagement mechanism? This is where the sex in comes in, by the way. So no magic formula here. No magic formula, except maybe what Einstein used. I don't know if you're familiar with some of the ways he thought, but it's something that he called combinatory play. And we really like to play with that. First of all, the notion of play is important. We saw that earlier today. But of course, expertise rides at the heart. Yeah, we need expertise, not a problem. But we really need to blend together study and play, theory and practice, mind and emotions. It is this that is going to make it that everybody, the participants, engage. So our programs will often involve all kinds of strange things, from horses to martial arts experts to hypnotists to chocolate chefs. We're big on chocolate chefs. To conductors. You name it. It's really whatever is necessary. Uh, once again, the expertise is at the core, whether it's scientific, by the way, or business management oriented. And we just keep learning and searching. It is complicated, obviously, because once again, we have building blocks, but every new program needs to be created from scratch. At the same time, it is so much more fun. Not only is it more fun, we also believe it is absolutely necessary. We are long gone are the days when we can just sell programs. So that's what I wanted to share with you. I hope you found it interesting. Thank you very much.